Do you think the Oracle of Omaha is finally taking notice of Tesla stock? Warren Buffett dubbed the Oracle of Omaha as one of the most successful investors in the world because of years and years of experience under his belt. Now, many are wondering if he is ready to touch Tesla stock, so you definitely would not want to miss this. He's done some remarkable things. Elon may turn the world on its head in several sectors. Warren Buffett said of Tesla CEO Elon Musk in an interview last year, while Buffett is yet to invest in Tesla stock, there are lots of speculations that if he isn't secretly buying, he is about to. Just before Christmas, Tesla CEO Elon Musk dropped yet another controversial statement. He said that Warren Buffett is likely to capitalize on the market chaos and load up on cheap stocks in 2023. I suspect Warren Buffett is going to be buying a lot of stock next year, the Tesla, SpaceX, and Twitter CEO said in a Twitter Spaces conversation with Whole Mars Catalog. If a company has very strong fundamentals, but then the market is doing some short-term panic situation, obviously that's the right time to buy stock," Musk added. Buffett, the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, specializes in identifying undervalued, high-quality businesses and investing in them for the long term. He is also known for pouncing during periods of turmoil. He struck lucrative deals with Goldman Sachs, General Electric, and other ailing companies during the financial crisis. In light of that, Musk, who fears a combination of higher rates and an economic downturn could hit demand for autos and drag down stocks, clearly believes the anxiety in markets will create buying opportunities for Buffett. Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway sale of Tesla competitor BYD shares last year fueled more speculation that the legendary investor is selling BYD shares in favor of Tesla. Several months ago, news broke that Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway is continuing to unwind its long position in BYD, China's largest homegrown EV maker and Tesla's major rival, after holding it for 14 years. This led people to assume that Warren Buffett is selling BYD to buy Tesla stock. Recent statements from Buffett's right-hand man did not help quiet down suspicions that the company is buying or at least preparing to buy Tesla shares. Charlie Munger, Berkshire Hathaway's vice chairman, said that what Tesla has done in the car business is a minor miracle. In a CNBC Squawk Box episode, Munger spoke highly of Elon Musk's electric vehicle company Tesla, calling it an amazing feat in the American auto industry. I was certainly surprised that Tesla did as well as it did, Munger said in the interview. However, Munger noted that he does not equate Tesla with Bitcoin. According to him, Tesla has made some real contributions to this civilization and that its CEO Elon Musk has done some good things that others couldn't do. We haven't had a successful new auto company in a long, long time. What Tesla has done in the car business is a minor miracle, Munger said. While Tesla is the biggest EV company in the world based on market cap, its stock is down nearly 50% in recent months. Lucid Group and Rivian Automotive have fallen even more. NEO's loss of more than 20% over the last three months looks somewhat better. However, it is however it still doesn't compare well against BYD's gain. BYD, which Berkshire owns 14% of, is on something of a roll. The stock is up close to 5% over the last three months. Normally, it might not seem like much momentum, but the rest of the EV industry has performed atrociously during the same period. Sadly, it is becoming evident that BYD is trouncing Tesla. Well, there's a significant difference between the EVs sold by the two companies. BYD markets both fully electric and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles PHEVs, while Tesla only sells fully electric vehicles. The PHEVs offer greater driving ranges than fully electric EVs do. Also, BYD beats Tesla on price, which makes its EVs more popular in China. Meanwhile, Tesla has been forced to cut the prices of its cars sold in this huge country. These factors mean BYD is handily outselling Tesla. In 2022, BYD reported sales of 1.9 million electric vehicles. Tesla sold a much lower 1.3 million EVs. Both companies have faced manufacturing challenges in China due to the COVID-19 pandemic, although BYD appears to have navigated the issues better than Tesla has. Tesla is a lot of things, an electric vehicle EV pioneer, innovative, and one of the hottest stocks of the last decade. However, there's at least one thing it isn't, a Warren Buffett stock. BYD is. Buffett could probably find quite a bit to like about Tesla. CEO Elon Musk thinks that the company can grow its vehicle deliveries by an average of 50% annually, as far into the future as we can see. Tesla now boasts the highest operating margin in the entire auto industry. The future for EVs appears to be bright. Yet, Tesla's shares are down nearly 75% below their peak. So why isn't Buffett buying Tesla stock hand over fist? 
Some might think that Buffett isn't interested in Tesla because it's outside his wheelhouse. After all, the legendary investor famously avoided several of the biggest tech stocks for years because he didn't understand their businesses well enough. However, this can be scratched from the list of reasons Buffett isn't buying Tesla. Buffett has already demonstrated that he isn't averse to investing in EV stocks. Berkshire owns 14.9% of Chinese EV company BYD. It also owns 3.5% of General Motors, which is ramping up its EV production. That said, it might not be too difficult to figure out the most likely reason behind Buffett's refusal to buy Tesla stock. Valuation probably ranks as the primary factor. Tesla stock currently trades at around 24 times earnings with a price-to-earnings growth ratio of 1.08 looks attractive. Those metrics are better than some other stocks that are already in Berkshire's portfolio. However, as many have pointed out, Tesla stock isn't cheap. In light of this, Buffett has a straightforward test he uses before buying any stock. If the stock isn't available at a reasonable price relative to the low end of its estimated earnings range, he looks elsewhere. And if he can't reasonably estimate earnings for at least five years in the future, he definitely stays away. Tesla doesn't pass the Buffett test. It's also possible that Buffett isn't convinced that Tesla has a strong enough moat. The company offered discounts on some vehicle models to boost sales at the end of 2022. Buffett, like others, might view this move as evidence that Tesla could have a less compelling competitive advantage than many think. It can be noted that Elon Musk previously explained why he is not like Warren Buffett, as two of the world's richest men have divergent approaches to business. The Tesla boss has in the past dismissed Buffett's advice to investors to find companies with moats, or buffers around them. In 2018, Musk said, moats are lame, and it is the speed of innovation that matters, CNBC reported. Another fact that can't be overlooked is that Buffett closely examines a company's management team before he buys a stock. Well, it is pretty obvious that Elon Musk doesn't fit the profile of the type of CEO Buffett tends to prefer. Still, it appears that Buffett believes in Elon, and consequently Tesla's potential to perform splendidly in the not-so-distant future. In a previous interview with former CBS anchor Charlie Rose, Buffett praises Musk's accomplishments at Tesla. I mean, Elon, didn't? He's taking on General Motors, Ford, Toyota, all these people who've got all the stuff. And he's got an idea. And he's winning. That's America. You can't dream it up. It's astounding. Buffett said, The EV industry is becoming bigger by the second as more automakers are venturing into the EV space. Probably sooner than later, companies will be able to catch up to Tesla and produce EVs of the same quality. However, Tesla remains to be the leading EV company to this day, and it does not stop at that. It works in their favor that the Tesla team continuously comes up with and develops more innovative products. Although Tesla did not invent the electric car or even the luxury electric car, it did invent a successful business model for bringing compelling electric cars to the market. Tesla's unique business model, which includes keeping control over sales and service, is one reason its stock has soared since its initial public offering. That said, many financial analysts and investors see Tesla as a technology company rather than a car company. At least, that's how they justified the growth of its stock price starting in 2013, when it shot up by more than 300% within a single year. Tesla became one of the most valuable companies in the world, with a market capitalization of over $600 billion. Now, what many are wondering is, would Buffett buy Tesla stock if he liked its valuation, felt confident about its moat, and was a big fan of the company's management? Even with all of those boxes checked, it's still only a maybe. Buffett once said, The trick in investing is just to sit there and watch pitch after pitch go by and wait for the one right in your sweet spot. And if people are yelling, swing you bum, ignore them. In other words, Buffett knows that he can wait to buy only the stocks that are the best fit for his investing strategy. Even if a stock is attractive, if there are other stocks that Buffett likes even more, he'll go with them instead. Subscribe to this channel for more insane news about Tesla stock.